Hi guys, I've been here with my preview of Huddersfield Town versus Liverpool. It's just a couple of days since that horrible game against West Bromwich Albion, and we're straight back into action on Tuesday night in the Premier League against Huddersfield. David Wagner versus Jurgen Klopp. The two friends collide. Uh, and suddenly this looks like a tricky game uh, with the two recent performances Liverpool have put in with the sales of Philippe Coutinho and now the lone move of Daniel Sturridge with nobody incoming um, suddenly it's not a pleasant time to be a Liverpool fan um, obviously in perspective it's alright but uh, after 18 games unbeaten and the win over Man City and the jubilation that followed and we thought we'd got away with the Coutinho sale to an extent we thought we'd um, so some of us at least thought we'd be okay until the end of the season. Uh, suddenly two, two pretty hideous defeats against dreadful sides uh, have sort of changed our perspective on that and suddenly uh, we've got two goalkeepers that can't play, we've got uh, defence that's struggling, we've got a midfield that's absolutely bang out of form and it's all got a bit wrong. Um, so ob obviously we need to bounce back, obviously this is a relatively good place to go and do that. Huddersfield are not one of the better sides in the league, but they did beat Manchester United at home, so um, I expect it to be a similar test to Swansea. It's going to be tough. Uh, they're obviously going to defend for their lives, and we've got to break them down. We've got to um, show the sort of form we were showing before this slump that we found ourselves in now. Have I got the confidence that we're going to do it? I mean, this just really reminds me of last season. Um, I really didn't think this was going to happen again, but... Uh, after that Swansea game, I, I thought if we can bounce back against West Brom, it's a relatively nice FA Cup fourth round game um, to, to do that in. But we didn't. We were absolutely appalling defensively. The midfield was an absolute no-show. And I'm not looking forward to this Huddersfield game, to be honest. Um, if I'm going to do a predicted 11, I'm going to go for uh, Karius in goal. Mignolet somehow managed to look, make Karius look OK with his performance at West Brom, and I've always preferred Mignolet. Uh, Trent was absolutely shocking uh, against West Brom. I imagine Gomez is going to be back here. Uh, Matip, uh, I've said enough on him. I just, I just think the guy's completely overrated. I think he's, I think he's our fourth best centre back. Um, so, but with Clavin still not fit, he will probably keep his place alongside Van Dijk. And I hope to God that Robertson starts at left back ahead of Moreno. Midfield, Henderson is back, so he may well get a start with Chan and Van Alden being you know, a bit out of sorts. Which one drops out, I'm not sure. It looks like Emery Chan's going to leave. What's the point in playing him? Um, you know, I'm all for winning now and doing whatever we can to win now, but he's actually had a couple of really dodgy games. I know Van, Al Van Alden has as well, but may as well play the guy that actually wants to be here if you're going to pick one of the two poor performers of late. So uh, Henderson, Chan and Oxley chamberlain in the middle and then Mane, Salah and Firmino who uh, a couple of them are doing alright. I think Mane is still struggling a little bit so let's get him back into form. Salah's dipped slightly, obviously still scored at the weekend but he's dipped a little bit in, in terms of form. Firmino's probably the most consistent of our four players over the last month or so. Uh, it's going to be a horrible night. I'm going to be there. Um, it's going to be horrible to to sit through in terms of nerves and just desperation really to get some points on the board again and get back on track. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to sign anyone so if we do drop points here and then we don't sign anyone I dread to think what the atmosphere is going to be like against Spurs on Sunday. I dread to think what the general feeling around Anfield is going to be. I'm obviously a bit down about the whole situation losing two on the bounce against two crap sides. I'm obviously a bit down that Daniel Sturridge has left us on loan. I think that obviously probably spells the end of his career at Anfield. He's one of my favourite Liverpool players in the last sort of decade. I mean, five, five, five up and down years. But I mean, when he was up, he was so up. He was so good. Same with Coutinho. I mean, to lose them both in the same window five years on from them signing is just a bit sad. Um, two quality, quality players. Two of our best players over the last, even the last three years, really. So not not nice. And you know, we have to obviously wait. It seems until the summer. Um, and you know, obviously, I do trust the manager, it, despite the uh, recent slump. I still like the guy. I still think he is the right man to dig us all out of this and uh, push us on. So we wait and see. I'm going to give a prediction. Uh, I think we might just pick up a point at Huddersfield. Um, Salah to score for us. One all draw. I think get out of there with a point. I wouldn't be happy with it, but I think that's probably it. The, the outcome I can envisage, unfortunately. Uh, leave a comment with your predictions, leave a comment with your thoughts on Daniel Sturridge leaving for West Bromwich Albion on loan. Um, that leaves us with Firmino, Solanke and Ings as our three centre-forwards. Make of that what you will.
Um, subscribe to this channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook if they might say on all of those. And I promise, I'm not normally this down in dumps, but the Reds are crap at the moment, so there you go. Um, I'll see you next time.